Hi, my name is Chuck, um, N6BIL. Uh, I watched a video on YouTube by Dave, KA6BFB, in which he wrote a program that would take commands from Ham Radio Deluxe, and he had a software emulator and translate them into commands for the Yaesu 736R. And uh, I thought it was really intriguing since I have a 736R and would like to use it with the satellite mode of Ham Radio Deluxe. So I communicated with him and uh, we've talked. And uh, um, actually, I think it would be a good thing to go watch his video first before watching this video, then you'll understand. Uh, I'll provide a link to his video. Um, but anyway, I'll show you what. Um, anyway, after talking with him, uh, you know, he more or less suggested that uh, he thought it would be a better way to do this in hardware than in software. Um, so that's what I did after talking with him. And um, I have a microchip um, product here. It's the PIC 18F series uh, microcontroller. And it comes on their standard board. It's uh, the USB low pin count demo board. And they have uh, the microcontroller on here is an 18F14K50. And it has two principal things that I need to do the translation. It has a serial port and it has a USB port. The 16F series doesn't have the USB port, so that's why I went to the 18F series. So um, this has a USB port. I'm going to plug it in right now. And the board gets its power from the USB. It's plugged into my computer here. And you can see these two toggling LEDs. And that means it's uh, in a configured state for USB and that the computer's accepted it. Um, so then I've got two more wires here. And these go to the Yesu. Um, this is the serial out part. There's actually a, a serial connector up here, but this is at RS-232 levels. The 736R works at TTL level, so I've gone here and tapped off the board at the TTL level um, places on the board for the serial out. Okay, so uh, Hamria Deluxe, um, I'm going to connect to it, or turn it on, and it'll connect here with the, the board. And it's going to be in the, the Yesu uh, 847 command set. The, 7, the 847 command set, this was, I learned this from Dave. Uh, is very similar to the 736R's command set. It's not the same, but it's similar. So basically, Hamaria Deluxe thinks it's talking to an 847. It gets translated here into 736, and my radio there understands it. So I'm going to turn Hamaria Deluxe on, and uh, in a second or two, the connect screen will pop up. And I don't know if you can read it, but at the top there it says connect to a radio 847 on COM3 at 4800 baud, which is the baud rate for the ASU. There's Ham Radio Deluxe. Um, there's a frequency, and the frequency on my 736 is now in sync with it. They're both in FM mode. They're both uh, at 145. If I go up here with the mouse wheel up here to start to change the frequency. I don't know if you can see it, but it's keeping track over here. It's perfectly in track. Um, keeps synchronized with this radio, uh, with the Hammer Radio Deluxe screen here. And it seems that part works. Then I can come over here and I can change the mode to upper sideband. It's upper sideband there. It's upper sideband on my radio here. I can change the repeater shift to Actually, it's, uh, I'm going to change it to simplex. The, sim the light just went out. They're both in simplex now. If I change the repeater shift to positive shift, it's positive on my radio. I, apparently, it doesn't, Hammer Radio Deluxe doesn't tell you what um, shift is on. I'm going to go back to the, I'll leave it in positive shift, actually. Um, if I hit transmit, the transmit light comes on and it comes off. That's, although it works on Hemaria Deluxe, there's a problem with it, and it's not a problem with this, it's a problem with Hemaria Deluxe, which they know about, and hopefully they'll be fixed. Uh, the next thing is the SAT button up here. If I hit the SAT button, you see two frequencies are up there now. I can actually control the low, this, uh, this is the um, VFOB frequency. If I change it, it's set at 440 right now. I'm going to change it to 4, let's go to 442. To 442.2. Hit the transmit button, you'll see it's at 442.2.
So it's actually, you know, now I'm controlling both frequencies. I can control the the other frequency and it still keeps track on the sat much. So I'm going to turn sat off. So now I'm going to like, uh, to show you that the tones work on here also, I'm going to hook up with the local repeater. The local repeater here, I'm in Hollister, California, is at 73. One, one, five degrees on radio. It's on, uh, obviously, it's an FM repeater. It has a positive shift. And I'm going to go up here and pick the tone, and the tone is 94.8. So I should be able to latch the repeater here. And we just. And six DC repeater for the San Benito County area. So the, everything appears, as far as I can see, to be working on it. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do is uh, try to design a printed circuit board for this. It's an extremely simple circuit board. It, this thing here has, uh, the one that comes from Microchip, has a bunch of extra things on it that aren't necessary. The actual printed circuit board that I'm going to make only has, I believe, seven components to it. There's the PIC microcontroller crystal for it, one, two, three, four capacitors, we're up to six parts, um, and then two connectors, some, you know, either a, a USB connector and a serial port or some kind of connectors. So eight total parts including two connectors, six actual um, radio parts. You can actually do it with the six parts. You can leave off the connectors and just wire directly into the board. So hopefully it'll be a very small board and uh, if I can get that designed, well, we'll see about uh, distributing it and putting the code out there as open source. Uh, this is Chuck N6BIL. Thanks for watching.